So today I'm going to have a look at Henry Stenson's swing and his Trapman data. First of all, if you look at the Trapman data, it's uh, very, very impressive. This is a six iron data. And to be fair, there's not a lot I'd, I'd really want to change in it. The only thing I'd look at possibly would be the, the swing plane is 64 degrees, which is a little bit higher than we'd normally see with elite players. But he is obviously quite a tall, tall build. So obviously a taller build, I'd generally see it a little bit higher than, the, than a shorter or an average height person. Other than that, his numbers are very good. His down angle is good, his swing pass good, his face angle is good. These numbers should produce a very sort of subtle little draw. Um, the launch angle is a little bit lower than normal, and the spin rate is a little bit higher than normal. But, you know, the overall ball fight would be pretty good. Distance, obviously, is good, as you'd expect uh, with, with Henrik, and, uh, and his ball speed is exceptional. Lots of good things. Let's take a look at his golf swing. From a posture point of view, it's quite well balanced. The only thing I'd look at a little bit would be his shoulders. How his shoulders sit forward a little bit, but otherwise it's very well balanced. Uh, and, and his chin obviously matches his shoulders a bit. They sit, it sits forward a touch. So as he starts to swing the golf club back into the sort of primary position for me, he tends to fold his right arm very, very nicely. Uh, the wrist could fold a little bit more. That's why the club head there is just sits above plane a little bit. But his right arm starts to work quite nicely initially. As he moves into the second phase here, his arms tend to work up his body a little bit for me. And you'll see there his bum just starts to work away from that back line there into a little bit of extension. Uh, other than that, it's very, very good. As he swings down, there's a slight change in the arm plane, as you'd expect to see. But for me, it changes probably a bit more, purely because the backswing arm plane is a little bit high. Uh, and again, there's a little bit more extension with the bum as he comes down. These two things, you know, obviously help him shallow that club out to get it into that one degree into out path that he has. Uh, again, very, very good as long as you want to hit a, hit, hit a draw shape. The other thing I'd look at through here impact would be just trying to look at his hip action and his foot action. I think if he if he got his, his bum more on that back yellow line, you'd find that his hips would probably open up a touch more and his footwork would be a little bit more efficient. And this would basically reduce the path being from into out quite as much and reduce the amount of draw. Obviously, it all depends what shot shape Henry wants to hit, whether this would be a pick roll or not. Uh, but these are just some of the things I'd look at. For me, as he, he goes through to the exit here, this is all very, very good. Um, and obviously, he's an exceptional player. Had a great, great year last year, and obviously one of the world's best. And I'm sure he'll be a, a, a great asset to us in the Ryder Cup coming up.